Good afternoon, Cryptoverse. Uh, Ken Adams coming at you with another interview with Q special. Uh, this is with actually a very special guest of mine. Um, I'll let him introduce himself. Sure, my name is Ken Adams. I um, reside in Northwest Ohio in the USA and I've been around here for my whole life. Um, I'm a fire chief by day and I'm a parent of three children. So my, life, my life's work is uh, kind of getting to the point where I need to understand more about my investments and more about what's going on because I can look to my twilight years and say I need to retire. I also need to teach my kids on what needs what they need to think about as they start their careers and start their lives. I'm a contrarian investor. Um, I, I deal with more physical assets but I still have the traditional 401k and pension and things like that to look forward to. Uh, assuming all of that outlasts the next 20 years of whatever happens in the world right now. All right, well, I actually like your name. That's that's a very good name. I, I happen to have one just like it. <laughs> I'm just doing that to laugh. All right, well, why don't you uh, go ahead and pitch your project then, Ken? Sure, so under Scale Project Catalyst Fund 5 Value Onboarding, Catalyst Value Onboarding, I have a project called Interview with Q Video Series. Uh, it will be delivering a 10-part video series that will give anybody a understanding of what blockchain technology is and all the core components of both Cardano, Project Catalyst, and all things considered. We'll take one video to cover what is Cardano and what is Project Catalyst, and we'll have that interview with somebody who has a high-level view and understanding of all of it and can kind of articulate it in a manner that I can interpret and um, analogize so that people understand a little bit better who have no historic knowledge of this. We'll take time to discover what a stake pool is and what nodes are with relation to Cardano. We'll spend time on what tokens are, what NFTs are, and what smart contracts are. And we'll keep them wrapped up with the teams and the players of Project Catalyst, people who are working through Project Catalyst to get a better understanding of who those other key role players are. And at the high level, we'll ensure that we know who Gogan, Basho, and Voltaire are. We'll spend some time on Project Catalyst itself and figure out how to help people learn how to get funded and how to find their place when they are introduced to the entire ecosystem and understand what role, where we're at in the process. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so how long have you actually been into crypto? Yeah, so you caught that. I haven't been into crypto very long. Um, not in general, not cryptocurrency for that sake, and especially the blockchain technology. Now I know that it exists in my world, it's all around me. A lot of the things that have to do with just-in-time shipping exist around blockchain technology. But I feel that we're at a point in time, whether it has to do with a financial currency, who knows what. I can't get blindsided by that personally. I don't want my children to get blindsided by that. So I've really taken an active role in understanding what is blockchain technology, what is cryptocurrency, how do I take a hold of something that is intangible and bring that together. So I've been really, really pushing hard to understand this quite a bit. Um, yeah, so it's only, it's only been a few months that I've gotten involved in it. Okay, really, so you've only been in it since about January of this year and you're actually promoting a project that is gonna educate others? How's that gonna work out? Now that's a great question. How would it work if a guy that just comes on board is going to start teaching. Well, I haven't just started teaching. Like I said, I'm a fire instructor. I've been in the teaching community for a very long time. Um, this is just teaching something new. Now, it's not something that I have a perfect understanding of, but I think that really makes me a great candidate for understanding if I can interview the person who knows what's going on and I can be that intermediary between the person who knows and the person who has no idea and help articulate, help um, make the analogies, make, make those connections so that somebody who has an interest in a certain facet of blockchain technology can find their team, find the people who are involved in Project Catalyst and make this all happen really well for them. Okay, cool. So I see where you're coming at then. Well, that's fantastic. Um, who else is on your team right now? Is it, is it just you? Currently, the team is just myself. I am working with a marketer. We don't have anything concrete yet, but we're close to figuring that out and understanding what our roles are going to be with this. Um, because this is just a production of a 10-part video series, that'll be the final deliverable at the end. 
Um, I feel that we can execute this together. Oh, cool. So, so who else are you looking for to join your team? Well, if I, if I get on board with this marketer, I think that's going to be what we need for this 10 part video series. But obviously anybody, any information that anybody else has to contribute. If you're watching this video and you can think of something to help, put some comments below. Um, heck, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, subscribe to Q's channel. Um, I see that he's putting out a lot of good information. Uh, <laughs> where, where are you at right now? Where am I at right now? I'm actually out on the beach uh, nearby where I live. Uh, it's a vacation day for me, and so I'm taking advantage of it in every way I can. That's uh, actually in the background. I'm looking across Lake Erie, and that's Michigan. And a little bit to the left is actually Ontario and Windsor, Canada. Thanks for your time, Ken. I really do appreciate it. appreciate you uh, putting this video together and getting it out there to your community. And hopefully other people will share it. Um, if anyone sees any ideas, any thoughts, anything that will make this better, put your comments in the comments below. You know, like and subscribe to Ken's channel. You know. <laughs> well, cool. Well, I appreciate your time, Ken. Where, uh, where can we get a hold of you? Where can other people get a hold of you? Oh, thanks for asking. No, um, Discord is actually the best place for me to communicate back and forth right now. Um, I'm still learning Twitter. I'm still learning Reddit. Um, I, I have an account with the Cardano Foundation um, forum itself. I'm looking at all of that. I'm trying to learn all of that. But what I found the best way to communicate with me and a lot of people around the Project Catalyst community is on Discord. So um, I'll have you put some links below um, for all of my contacts. I'm um, actually starting a website too, um, q.io. Uh, it has one picture on it, a couple of notes. Uh, it's under construction, but I want to make it right. I want to make sure that's out there. So you can email me at ken.adams at keww.io. Um, that'll be the best place to send the email with any other information or just hit me up on uh, Discord. Um, there's a separate channel on there for interview with Q. Um, that's a great opportunity for it. So yeah. Awesome. Cool. Thanks a lot, man. We'll see you later. Oh yeah, let's do this. Uh... All right, cool. So.